Hot day outside. But guess what? We're about to try this val ballet. Ballet. Not ballet. Ballet is something else. But ballet is something we're going to try today. And uh, <laughs> I think I'm up for it. What do you think? Well, I tell you what. I'm about to find out. Hello, Miss Jordan. My name's Kai. Nice to meet you. I love that name. It's not as good as Jordan, but yeah. it'll do for now. Yeah, it's good. Kai is cool. Yes, ma'am. And your hair is cool. Thank you, ma'am. Absolutely. Your shoes are awesome. That. Thank you. You don't, you don't have to wear these today. Uh, I don't think I could wear no. these. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, first, she was amazing. She actually had spent a lifetime's worth of work. Even though she was a very young woman, she spent, I don't know, the, be the better part of maybe 20 years. Well, yeah, the better part of about 20 years invested in perfecting her skill sets when it came to the art of ballet as well as gymnastics and a number of other uh, really cool uh, movement related skills. Wow, it's so effortless too. That's like that's, uh, the, that's like the major thing about dance and ballet is that everything's so difficult and you'll find that out today. But it's supposed to look effortless and floss and that's what makes it so difficult. Yeah, you can just be here, but we're going to go ahead and start with some stretching just to get ourselves warmed up. Right off the bat, when we first started and opened up in the class, um, she talked a little bit about um, ankle flexibility and strength. Push through, up, and over. Yep. If you want to go ahead and put your uh, toe through point like this and push your heel forward and ankle forward, that's gonna stretch out the top of your foot and create a better point in your foot. Back and switch. Very good. And push. All right, go ahead and just go ahead and yep. Get those ankles, roll them out a little bit. We're definitely gonna be using them a lot today, so just be careful. Yeah. And within the first two minutes of trying to perform one of the exercises that uh, she tried to share with us, it was it was very clear to me that one, I didn't have the strength, you know, um, developed yet to really be able to think about trying to perform anything more than what I try to do. So I, I really, I, I realized that I was definitely, I was in good hands, but I was definitely um, uh, going to be doing something very different and new. Into your butterfly stretch. Yes. Warm up your hips a little bit. Good. And it doesn't have to be all the way. It can be out here. Honestly, it stretches a little bit better when they are further away. And flex. And point. Go ahead and roll them out. Good. And all the way around. And go the opposite way. I know if you can reach, that's great. I always say if you can't touch your toes, grab your ankles. If you can't grab your ankles, grab your shins. <laughs> So that warm up, I can't say that I, I did any justice to the warm up that was, was asked for. Um, I could just try my best and yeah, it was, it was very hard. All right, I'm gonna push forward, go ahead and straddle. <sighs> <Good>. <laughs> Secure, good, we're gonna reach up and over. Good. <laughs> That's gonna stretch out your side. Just a little bit. As far as you can, don't overstretch, but definitely you should feel it. Though I believe I'm, for what I do, very um, flexible. Um, when you compare that to the flexibility of a ballerina, a mastered and very seasoned and well-trained ballerina, uh, yeah, uh, not quite the same. You, they always say you want to keep your, your butt under and belly in, and you're lifting all the way through like you're standing with a, like a crown on your head. Good, very good. Elbows up. This is your second position. Okay, now we're going to use the right foot again, and we're going to pull to third. Here, and their heel comes to the middle of your foot. Then when you go to fourth, you're going to go tendu is what we call it. So you're kind of crossing the middle plane of your body to create one long line, and this arm comes forward to fourth. Mm -hmm. Good, now we're going to tendu to fifth, and we're going to bring our heel to toe, so get nice and tall. Fifth position is our starting position for a lot of our um, motions. Make sure your shoulders are down and long necks, very good. I came in there barefoot, right? 
And as I said, I've spent a lifetime worth of work um, making it a priority, you know, to do it with, to do the things that I do in the comforts of uh, having the right footwear. You're starting here. You're gonna do a little quick breath out, looking at your fingertips and bringing it in. Okay, you're going to do a slight plie at the knees. You're gonna bring your arms up. One, and stretch. When you do it, you wanna come follow me. Yeah, I'm, I'm nearing you. And when you straighten, you're going to bend and bring your arm out to second. And then when we do a grand plie, that means our, we're going to slightly peel our feet off the floor, bringing our arm down to scoop this way, all the way. Not resting in the metal position. Press your heels to the floor halfway and extend. Plie and stretch. We're going to grand plie, same thing. Don't let those heels come off the floor. Find that middle position. Good. Now what we're going to call a su su, su to new. You're going to pick up your feet, you're going to bring them together. I'm going to do mine on demi point to show here. So you're going to pull up. <laughs> oh, so me jumping on my toes. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna be honest. In theory, it's just impossible. I just, I just think that would just be an impossibility. And now, after having had that experience that day, I realized, yeah, it's even more impossible. Bringing them together on demi point. Yes, yep, your heels should be hugging. My heels should be hugging. Yeah, they should be hugging each other. Yep, and then you're going to switch your feet, and you're going to turn and bring them to the other side. Resting. Can't do back to first. So when I'm turning, but I'm turning into this. the bar. This is the only one that doesn't come off the floor. Your heels stay, and you have to sink into that. Yes. Make sure those he knees go straight out. But everything else, your heels will peel slightly off the floor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh no, you said peel. Yeah, they're gonna just like slightly lift. Yep. As you go down. Good. Very good. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Hmm. All right, are you ready to try? Yes, ma'am. Tondu? Please. We're doing two. I messed up the first one. very beginner people and you have a lot of muscle so it's a very difficult thing to do because it also involves a lot of flexibility which muscles and flexibility sometimes don't always go hand in hand mm. so it's good to stretch all those muscles out is that what we were doing i was stretching really yeah that's a warm-up <laughs> and close and back back same legs yeah same leg it's all right Finish, close in first, and reach forward. And up. Arch back, keep the arm above your head. And open. Susu, six new. Good. And back to first. Very good. So I see I'm, I'm, I'm end up learning some new languages yeah. to learn what I'm doing here. In, uh, yeah, in ballet. It, honestly, it makes it a lot easier because some people don't understand French in the French term. So with little little kids, mm. I'll always say like pas de chat is step of the cat. And the way that our legs move, it looks like a cat jumping. Or pas de cheval is how a horse steps. That's a pas de cheval. So you kind of develop a from the ankle. And when horses walk, you kind of have that. Mm. That's how it looks, a pas de cheval. Is step of the horse. Step of the horse. Now I noticed when you put your foot down, it sounds like a hoof. Oh, that's yeah. the box that I point to. Uh, so that's what makes it easier for me to stand on my point. Is that there's a box in there. There's a box in yeah. your shoe. Yeah. So what it is, it's like a it's like a mold. So it's a cast mold that goes around my foot. So my toes are in here, and I have this little thing that's right here to protect it from the box. But it mm -hmm. is like um, a paper mache mold of my foot. 
yeah, you know what, you need, you need the right attire. And I didn't have that that day. So uh, I've, I've been encouraged to consider uh, rethinking the kind of ball ballet attire. I mean, I wouldn't be a ballerina, but could you imagine what it would look like if I did decide to wear a tutu? Joke, just kidding. Or not. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. Usually that looks like these. And we'll do 36 of them, usually, just to get them going. And you really have to use your feet. The, the peeling motion still happens here, and you still have to get those heels down. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and try 18. Breath, and then we'll try 18 more. Ready? Six, seven, eight, and two, three. <laughs> you can do it. 18 more. Yes, ma'am. They're only 18. Five, six, seven. And make sure you're switching your feet. In, in air. So you're going to switch them in air. Okay? Six, seven, eight. To like lay on the floor and and color, <laughs> so it's it's a breath of fresh air when we have people come in and they actually want to try and I'm like, stand up, <laughs> stand up. <laughs> well, we we have we have some other interesting characters that um, yeah um, that would look even more funny than I would try to. It, I would actually, love I to see Weston it. Is, he's bigger than me, but he's 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 more flexible than I am. Yes, he is. Mm. Yeah, blessing mm. can do full splits. Full rush, you can do a full rush. I just saw him do it today in the gym. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he looks like he's been eating my food. Like my little brother has been eating all of my meals. Oh yeah. And but he can like put his leg over his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all yeah. right. I would love to see him in this class. I, I, I was expecting him to be here today and oh, yeah. that he would embarrass me. Oh he he would look like a professional. <laughs> So overall, uh, the ballet class was challenging. It was um, not something that I, I could say that I was totally prepared for, and I would be a liar to think that I blew this thing out of the water. Uh, but I did the best I could, at least within, within the, the idea of what I could try to do that day. And, uh, uh, I have walked away from that experience with a very new respect um, and appreciation for the, the work that goes into becoming a ballet instructor or a ballerina, you know.